Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, let's have a look at the 2012 question on the Leave Insert Ordinary Level on Algebra. It was question four. Solve the equation a half times 7x minus 2 plus 5 equals 2x plus 7. Okay, so don't, well, try not be too intimidated by the fraction in front of the bracket, okay? Treat it like you would any other um, multiplication that you would be doing, okay? So the question says a half times 7x minus 2 plus 5 is equal to 2x plus 7, okay? So a half times 7x. Uh, you can do it on your calculator, you can do it in your head. Um, you'll get 7 over 2x or as a decimal, 3.5x, okay? Minus 2 times a half will be minus 1. You're finished multiplying by the half there. So you just take down the plus 5 and then the right-hand side. There's nothing to be done to that, okay? So just like any other algebraic um question you would get you'll hear me saying bring x's to one side bring the numbers to the other okay so that 7 over 2x will stay there i'm going to bring over that minus that 2x and it'll become minus 2x okay there's my x terms in the right side i'm going to leave the 7 on the right it's already there minus 1 comes over and becomes plus 1 plus 5 comes over and becomes minus 5. Okay, so on your calculator then, you're doing 7 over 2 minus 2, and you're getting 3 over 2x, and 7 and 1 is 8, minus 5 is 3. Okay, just like you would any other question, divide by the number in front of x, okay? And x is equal to 3 divided by 3 over 2, and you'll get two for that. Okay, so that was part A of that question. A little bit hard because of the fraction in front of the bracket. Don't let it intimidate you. Work with decimals or fractions, whichever you prefer, and follow the same steps, okay? So as long as you know the steps, which is multiply out the brackets, x is to one side, numbers to the other, divide by the number in front of x. As long as you apply those same rules, it doesn't matter how hard they make the question. Okay, part B then of that question was an algebraic fraction. Okay, um, there's two ways that's, that it's commonly taught in school. So I'm going to do it both ways and then you can choose your preferred method. So all I've done is literally copied that question onto this page and this page to give us a bit more space. Okay, so the first method is to get a common denominator of it all. So your common denominator is all the bottoms multiplied by each other. Okay, all three. And then what you do is you take that common denominator that you've just um, wrote down there and you multiply it by each part of the top one by one. So minus 3x minus 4 times 2x plus 1 times 2 times 1 over 2x plus 1. And that's equal to the common denominator again by a half. Okay, and what you do then is the, the denominator here cancels with itself on the top, here and here, here and here. Okay. And when you do it this method, you can drop the bottom line at this stage and just write down what's left on the top. Times 2 times 1 equals 3x minus 4 times 2x plus 1 times the 1. Okay, and in each of them, you can see we have three terms to multiply by each other. We do two at a time and then multiply the answer by the third. And it doesn't matter the order you do the multiplying in. I'm going to do two twos or four here times 2x plus 1 because that's nice and easy. I'm also going to do two ones or two here by the 3x minus 4. 
And in this one, I'm just going to multiply the second one by one, which I know doesn't change it. Okay, so four by two X, eight X, four by the plus one is plus four, minus two by three X is minus six X, two fours are eight equals. So for this part, you split the first bracket and then you multiply the 3x by everything in the second bracket and come back for the minus 4 by everything in the second bracket. Okay, so 8x minus 6x here is 2x. 4 and 8 is 12 equals, right, let's multiply this, the right-hand side in. 3x by 2x is 6x squared. 3x by 1 is 3x. Minus 4 by 2x is minus 8x. Minus 4 by 1 is minus 4. Okay, I can see a quadratic forming, so I'm going to bring these two pieces over to the right. Whether I bring all to the right or all to the left doesn't matter. I have plus 3x minus 8x minus 4 minus 2x minus 12. Make sure you change the sign of these when you bring them over. Equal 0. And let's tidy up. So I have 6x squared. I have plus 3 minus 5 minus 2. Minus 8 minus 2 is minus 10, plus 3 is minus 7x. And then I have minus 4 minus 12 is minus 16 is equal to 0. Okay, uh, the factors of that could be quite difficult to do because he's, um, he's got a few factors. He's got 6 and 1 and 2 and 3 and he's got a few factors. He's got 16 and 1 and 8 and 2 and 4 and 4. So I think it might be easier to do the minus b formula. So remember, any quadratic can be written as ax squared plus bx plus c. So I'm getting my a is 6, my b is minus 7, and my c is minus 16. Okay, so the minus b formula then, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So page 20 of the log tables. So x is equal to minus b, so it's minus minus 7, plus or minus the square root of minus 7 squared minus 4 a c all over 2 times 6. So minus minus 7 is 7, plus or minus, so then into my calculator I'm putting everything under that square root sign. Make sure you put the minus 7 in a bracket. Minus 4 by 6 by minus 16. And I'm getting root 4, 3, 3 all over 2 sixes are 12. And then you split it into the plus and the minus. So my first answer, x is equal to 7 plus root 4, 3, 3 over 12. 7 plus root 4, 3, 3 all over 12 on my calculator. It asked me for one decimal place. So I'm getting 2.317, so to one decimal place, that's 2.3. And my next answer for x comes from 7 minus 4, root 4, 3, 3, all over 12. So on my calculator, I'm just going back to change that plus sign to a minus. S to D is to convert it to a decimal, and I'm getting minus 1.15 on my calculator, so round it, that's minus 1.2. Okay, so that's one way of doing that algebraic fraction. Okay, now the other way of doing it is just to resolve the left-hand side and then cross-multiply it with the right. Okay, to show you what I mean by that. So on the left-hand side, again, it's a fraction, so we need a common denominator. Okay, and then to work out what goes on the top, because it's only two terms, you can crisscross it. So it'll be two times the other denominator. So it's two times this one. And then go back for the minus one times this one. And you just let that equal to a half. So you treat the half separately. Okay. Um, in this one, we don't drop any bottom lines or anything. So let's multiply out. So two by two X is four X. Two by one is two. Minus 1 by 3x is minus 3x plus 4, because minus by minus is a plus. Okay, um, and then in this one, 
I want to split the bottom line. So 3x by everything in the second bracket minus 4 by everything in the second bracket. And it's equal to a half. So let's tidy up the top. 4x minus 3x is x. 4 and 2 is 6. Let's multiply out the bottom line. 3x by 2x is 6x squared. 3x by 1 is 3x. Minus 4 by 2x is minus 8x. Minus 4 by plus 1 is minus 4. And it's equal to a half. So let's tidy up the bottom line now. We have 6x squared plus 3x minus 8x is minus 5x minus 4. And it's still equal to a half. Okay, so the left hand side is, is in as simple form as it can get. Um, so now I'm going to cross multiply. Okay, so cross multiplying means it's 2 by everything on the top this side and the 1 by everything on the top this side. Okay, so it's 2 by the x plus 6 being equal to 1 times 6x squared minus 5x minus 4. So I have 2x plus 12 there equals to 6x squared minus 5x minus 4 there. Again, I'm going to bring everything over to the to the right. 6x squared minus 5x minus 4 minus 2x minus 12 is equal to 0. Let's tidy up. We have minus 5x minus 2x is minus 7x. Minus 4 by minus 12 is minus 16 equals to 0. Okay, and you can see that it's the same quadratic I have here. So it's the same, it's the same uh, procedure from, from here on down. So whichever method you prefer, it's totally up to you. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our level seven in electronic and computer engineering? This is a three year program that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress on to the level 8 in electronics and self-driving technologies and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.